Greetings everyone, and Great here with another Agent Reller 3 replay. It's on the north side as the Yellow Soviets. We have given me a good 1v1. It's on the his teammate as the Blue Empire. We have just quit. It's on the south side as the Magenta Soviets. We have Hajami. And as the Red Allies, we have Dutch Army. Now we do got a reactor being deployed on out. Dojo cores as well. Some bears going across the bridge. And he will meet a single Soviet bear in return. Who's the true bear? Will it be a bear eat bear world? Both players have filled with a roar. Though the other two bears can now charge forward for a more of a effective, effective roar. And could have got a roar off there. We got these. Oh, Magenta does lose this bear as well. Does go ahead and get that rectified right there. Nice roar right there as well. This bear has been cleaned off by this yellow bear. No, the, that bear actually escapes. It does clean that off, and now some mag mines being thrown. He's mining up the bridge. Dojo core has been set on up. It may not have blocked that uh, refinery point, but these Molotovs should be able to clean them on up. We've got Terra Drone here as well. <clears throat> conscripts trying to deal with the Imperial Warrior. Of course, Imperial Warriors are very effective versus Conscripts. Then again, what's non effective versus Conscripts? Spudniks. Eh, probably Spudniks because they'll crush Conscripts easy and the Conscripts will gun them down. Got Hydrophones and Dolphins pushing way forward with his teammates, Bear. Gotta sniff out those spies in the water. We got Sickle not being forward now. It's good as they're on these Imperial Warriors. Jumps down on one of them as well and gets the kill there with the Terra Drone from the other. Does stop all the garrison except now it does get inside one of them. Two of them now. But you have a Javelin Troop inside the high ground garrison. Bear Strong does get cleaned up by the Bullfrog, and that refinery or Dojo Core does go down. Rolling off some Molotovs, trying to clean up the garrison now. He does avoid most of it. We have the Molotovs in that garrison as well. Gets some kills out of the Molotovs, and now Boonie Apollo's guns there, and does try to hit that Imperial Warriors there, and he does go ahead and bonds that charge through all of them on the they didn't pull up the AK-47s. The civilian structure is still under siege. And this bear does manage to go from the sea. Now it's back to sea. Remember what to do to protect yourself from sea bear attack. Draw a circle. No, that's an oval, not a circle. That has to be a circle. But down south, looks like this bear does get cleaned on up. They use weaponized circles against him. And this dog does get cleaned on up right there. Your wars to jump inside the building once again. The javelin troops should be able to clean up the garrison much easier than the rifle fire from the Imperial Warriors. And this arc going to hit, go around through all these garrisons, starting to at least beam that uh, garrison down as well. But it's seeing quite a bit of fire. Got a mutual trade right there, and now here comes a Vindicator bomb run onto the Sun tanks. Does hit the wall with the nail deflectors. And those do have a shared refineries over here. Very nice. Well, Magenta has pushed out to the sea. We've got one refinery here. And one of the Sun Tanks does get cleaned on up. Engineer does go down as well. He tried to capture the airport.
airfield has been claimed by the Empire. And now all the Air Force will repair while in the air. Garrison goes down. And that last bit... It's just slowly voting down right there. I don't know why I found that bit amusing. Conscripts over here. Let's get inside this garrison. Don't see any fancy technology just yet. There's tier two. I think that's more striker BXs or Sunon, I think actually. There's gonna be another garrison right there. We have the sickle advancing forward. got a number of those hammer tanks there as well as the twin uh chopper v striker vxs both frogs needs to make sure to stay alive because we'll prevent those chopper v or striker vxs from taking the air so i'm taking now receiving quite a bit of fire but also gets snared as we got the sickle now getting gunned down by the various infantry forces there's many jump out of there those and that's strike on top of that tsunami tank and we'll go and constructing up these forces there's a good number of air drones in this region does go down there. Got some cryo cups pushing me forward. Show your battle. Needs to shrink down that, uh, does it freeze down that, uh, Striker PX? And the other one does get shrunk and uh, frozen as well. Need to finish off those. That, uh, Terra Drone did not get the infect there. Get some more freezes there. Need to push for the ham tank to get these frozen units. And this was this frozen tank does get cleaned on up. Got the multi-gun turret now being deployed on now. And the shield ham tank will get infected. Teams outside needs to establish a bit of a better front line. Got a number of shrinks here. And good hits there. Bear does get crushed right there, and the bullfrog does get frozen. And now there's so much things that are out of AD aircraft support. Oh, we wish we got a lot of AD aircraft support right there. All of them shrunken, however. And he does go and get the kill there on that uh, tank buster, fully heroic tank buster. Withstand their attack! We're just going for another war factory. He's perhaps get out some more hammer tanks. Red does have a good number of poles in the air, as well as crowd covers, but it's lacking a front line to score his teammate. Odegaard turret is getting some shots on him. And now you got the crowd covers are seeing quite a bit of fire right there. It does freeze on the last of the bull frogs, that's just seeing quite a bit of fire. We've now got some terror uh, Tesla troopers out on the field. Not sure if Tesla Troop can shatter. Yep, they can shatter. Uh, or they may be able to shatter uh, Snom tanks. Is that most that cause uh, clean up all the shatters? Let's get up some of those infantry. Armor tank here. Getting frozen. And let's just go ahead and get the infect. And they've got the Terror Drone that pops up next to the Terror Drone. And Terror Drones cannot infect Terror Drones. Let's get this one snared. We've got a good number of Tesla Troopers here. And that Cash Bounty did not affect his own terror troop, uh, Tesla, uh, Tesla troopers. Crocops is shrinking number, a, a large number of those tanks. Makes them very, very ineffective, but he is able to get a lot of dodge off and be very resilient sometimes. Better miss. Does try and connect up a garrison there. Does use a Tesla airstrike there as a black cannon is trying to go on down. Black cannon could be cancelled because it's so low in health. Ooh, that was an EMP missile. Craft carry gave some good hits there onto that refinery. 
Another MP miss right there. Felicity MP'd everything, including himself. And I got a massive wave of uh, forces right there. Mainly you see another MP missile. Right now he needs uh, some assault destroyers. Got another naval yard going down. It's a body block, body block one from the Soviets, or maybe he's just going to fully build it. And it looks like the aircraft carrier does stay alive, and they do have the dry dock as well. So the story has been going out, but maybe you see south some stingrays. It looks like my gender may be low in income. Dolphins advancing forward. I wonder, did they get healed by dockyards or by hospitals? I think they might get healed by dockyards. They will answer to the Soviet. But it's there. Some of these bullfrogs are being cleaned on up. There's no ground army here at the moment. But they do got another multi-gun turrets. Only one infect there and does quickly kill off his own bullfrog. Cool sub so does claim the sea. And now we've got the aircraft carrier now under siege. We've seen quite a bit of fire it does go down. The hydrocore could not save him. So I'm sure it does go down right there. And we do have these bullfrogs sort of moving around. Bullfrogs. Oh, looks like there goes the air, uh, airfield, the airport. And these twin blades getting gunned down by these bullfrogs. Everyone's seeing lots of fire right there. Bullfrogs do all go down, but none of the twin blades did go down as well. Should find some shots of hot shots of the low ground. Don't destroy some face board. Relatively decent EMP missile there, getting large number of bullfrogs. Don't destroy could advance forward. And we've got a number of uh, Yari mini subs here. Power shot does come forward, but the bully whips. Dolphins uh, do manage to buy the Yari mini subs. And now I've got these Air Force advance forward, throwing some missiles there onto the Soul Destroyer and does take out the other Soul Destroyer there with audible discharge. Or last voyage, I should say. Show your gala. Found only a single dolphin here. The dolphin does go down to the Slam tanks. Got it. still a handful of Yari mini subs and the Navy Yard does get cleaned on up. Dug the aircraft carry, however, as well. EMP missile does fly forward, does roll a big miss there. And yellow does have a massive force here. And there's a nice snare there, blocking down the aircraft carrier. And it looks like that uh, Tesla air strike does claim the kill on something right there. Up north, we've got the crowd conscious advance forward. We've got a cash bounty here by the Soviet player. And a nice little cash bounty there. Cool of me, uh, Yar, a cool of subs, taking out the dry dock. Yellow does not have dry dry dock at the moment. Which could be used for these cool subs. Or for Dreadnought. Who's currently being snared as well. That barrage does get missed. And he's just going to get the minimum range. Prevented from. Should be able to slowly get that 
uh, killed off. Let's take out that naval dockyard there. Dreadnought is still alive, but slowly going on down. There was some missiles on his own uh, bullfrog there. Now Rez uh, withdrawing with a massive force of cryocopters, Apollos, and a couple of indicators. Cool sub does fire super torpedoes. Nothing in the route, and it looks like the Dreadnought is about to go down there to the Terra Drone. It does take it out there with the terror drone. Oh, here we've got a pair of cool subs. Ready to engage. Has fire some ultra torpedoes and nails his own cool sub there. We can take the Trying to pursue this uh, cool sub here. And we've also got the javelin troops in the high ground with the motor gun turrets here. Sending a lot of damage. Destroys the bridge there, which actually takes stuff on the low ground out as well. Cosmic bridge on top of it. Good try, only get one kill. Dari made sub, that's not a frozen dreadnought after I knocked here off. Put it here on the airbase, let's take it out. Number of these long tanks that are going down to these twin blades. They also raise other things as well, but they cannot engage each other. We got a war refinery and a defender core trying to expand out, but it's all a bit too much air forces there to really warrant it or to brave it. AVR is now under siege, you see quite a bit of fire. And it looks like the Dreadnought didn't actually go down right there. I'm not sure from what. Was this this uh, Stingray and Tesla? Uh, uh, or from the cool subs. Wrong color. Let's get frozen there and does get the full kill there. The flat cannon does get frozen as well. Going for the refinery. Takes another refinery as well. Try and brave all the flat uh, cannons. And there should be a third bomb there taking out that ore refinery. Going for a whole bunch of reactors here. Here, which could be very important. We've got the Apollos trying to force back these cryocopters. Not cryocopters, bullfrogs. I can't speak today. Getting a little bit tired right now, honestly. We've got these assault trailers engaging these cool subs. The army subs engaging with the naval yard as well. This elite uh, assault trailer is still. does go down right there. Now the elite cool subs can good damage on him. The already made some tier support. Oh, is that a Mendix Singularity? Yep, Mendix Singularity does come forward, does miss the reactor. Great ultra torpedoes right there, hitting that dreadnought. As well as gets the save there, does use sacrificial launchers, but does could quickly picked off. Claim. I think I was going out onto the far side, trying to advance towards Red's uh, ground base. Red has a good number of air forces up in the sky. No airport to get them repaired, repaired up over time. So 
some flat towers going on down. No, here we've now got these. I think we're just advancing forward, trying to get some good hits in. It's trying to break down some of these wall segments. And something we called in right there as well. Escalator strike. It came from Magenta, which does take up Blue's Tank Busters there. Goes up, one of those fully broke. We've seen quite a bit of jab and fire right there. Navy Yard trying to be deployed on down. Does do some minor vision blocking there. Ultra Turbios does miss right there as well. He's focused on, does take out that uh, Assault Destroyer. And that Assault Destroyer needs to get out underwater to avoid any more fire. Vacuum floater being frozen down. Iron curtain is still alive. You can use the iron curtain on top of the vacuum floater. And his teammate does have a large number of jet uh, mecha tingus. Now they transfer jet tingus. You could actually iron curtain the jet tank as well. Always get forced back. We're seeing lots of fire. And now these cryocopters are not going to be easy pickings for this massive number of air forces. It does take them all out. Iron curtain is available, which can instantly kill off. A uh, large group of infantry, or make any force he chooses invulnerable. Now that's uh, attack of singularity, does use the invulnerability onto the dreadnought and use sacrificial launcher as well. Does take out that ore refinery, puts a volley into that uh, cool sub. Firing more and more missiles on the exposed cool subs, hitting now the crusher crane. Nope, the other ore refinery. And he's out of uh, iron curtain effect now. He can go ahead and slow it down the fire rate, but he's continuing to go on. And that dreadnought does go down, fires off one more missile, hitting some of the bullfrogs. Magenta has splat out his own dreadnoughts now, and now making some barrages. Do attack go down. Another cool sub does get ultra torpedoes off from the dreadnought. Those naval dockyard will go down. Got a large number of cool subs by Magenta able to claim naval superiority over here. The naval yard does go down for yellow. Yellow has claimed the dry dock. They do have some force up here, and here comes some sentry bombers being put out by red. Takes out one of the refineries. I think bushes have been deployed on out. Maybe from a sleeper ambush. I don't. This is not a sudden transport, and that is not a sudden transport either. Peacekeeper does get a couple kills there. And red space is being cleaned on up. Magenta's barraging yellow space as well, taking that slowly out. We have a backing plan still out in the field. This base has been, of course, it was destroyed by the sentry bombers. And those are the one, these are refineries do have to go down. Cryo Geddon has been pulling out. The dreadnought largely avoids it. And now red's low powered. Two of yellow dreadnoughts on this region. One of them is elite. Takes out that javelin. That's cleaned on up over here. Just goes with more bases going down to the dreadnoughts. One of yellow's cool stuff has been infected. The other one is snared. Yells force are pushing for This civilian instructor is still providing very good fire point there, along with the multi gun turrets. That's just a lot of anti aircraft forces there. Those still in the uh, iron curtain there, so giving them vulnerable 
Uh, frogs as well as an invulnerable cool sub. The cool sub should be cleaned up in the naval dockyard, no problem. And this dreadnought is being chilled a little bit. Does get shrunken down as well. Gotta be careful with the laser lock javelins, though they're perhaps a little bit too close to having a bit of trouble with line of sight. That's why we are at many subs here. Clean the folks with all of uh, Magenta's force here, and they're growing in one elite. Good Death Slayer or Strike right there? Trying to get a laser block on some of these forces, but this picked up. There's there are four dreadnoughts here. Of course, toxic corrosion there doing good damage to the bullfrogs. And they did lose the dry dock, so those bullfrogs don't have automatic repairs. I get this space now under siege. Does get high power. So he does have to be careful about all these twin blades. They'll so keep them down, but they can't kill them. No last voyage there in time. Red's MCV is getting ripped apart by these Mega Tengus. Red's MCV does fully go down. Who do they think they are? Hell should be a win now that fight, but he's received some fires from this one over here as well. No additional torpedoes come forward. Now Magenta's uh, naval yard does that go down. Over here, looks like Magenta's base largely got cleaned on up. I don't see any more Yari May subs. Magenta still has some infrastructure here, including the battle lab and the tech lab and the uh, crush crane. Got more and more dreadnought shots for raining on in. Gives a direct hit there. And over here, just Jack Tengus or Mech Tengus just sort of falling back a little bit. Nice little kick there. And his hard point does get cleaned on up. Oh, the object tingles are flying about. And we do got Apollo here, getting some good hits. The Apollos are getting gunned down quite a bit. Got another sentry bomber here, fully heroic. Twin Blades do find another little pick there. So Magenta and Red still is a fighting force, even though they've lost a lot of infrastructure on the right and on, on the left. These horror finders are probably depleted. Yep. Now Yellow's fleet is advancing. There's not a lot of infrastructure up north. That's where the vacuum floater hit. Sorry I missed that. Now Yellow's infrastructure is starting to go on down. It's a very mobile force, a very veteran and elite force. Or oil derrick will go down. And the vacuum player could be Iron Curtain. Raised there by the Jack Tangus. He does use the Iron Curtain there on top of the Jack Tangus. Bit of a bad one. Three Jack Tangus are invulnerable, but it was more of a panic one. I want to make sure he didn't get any of uh, opponents in vulnerable as well. The RV main subs pushing forward once again. Gets quick damage there. There's four heroic RV main subs. Which I just saw as a battle crane and a uh, airfield. Oh, wait. How many Twin Blades just got picked up there? It was at least four or five Twin Blades just got picked up by that back, uh, magnetic satellite. And, wait. Game Pros? Jami has been defeated. That was Magenta. Red. What the hell? Did my game freeze? 
Okay, I think Team Southside has surrendered. I've never had my game freeze. Alright, either way, this is Andy Gray's anything watching, and on to the next replay.